In this video, you're gonna discover two exercises you can do every day and you should do every day to maintain mobility and muscular balance to keep your wrists pain-free. Yo, what's up? Coach E here from Precision Movement. And today we're gonna to talk about the wrists and I'm gonna share two exercises that you should do every day, especially if you're doing things like typing a lot or mousing or texting or sexting maybe, to keep your wrists and your fingers healthy. Now, this, these techniques are also teaching you a concept about two joint muscles, okay? Two joint muscles or multi-joint muscles are muscles that span multiple joints. In this case, they're muscles that span the wrist, the first finger joint, interphalangeal joint, and then the second and even the third interphalangeal joints. Okay, so these fingers, all these joints here, there's muscles that span all of the joints. And there's different ways to target those muscles so that we train them throughout their full range of motion. So any muscle that has a shortened range and a lengthened range. So the wrist extensors and the finger extensors the lengthened range is down here with a fist and wrist flexion, and the shortened range is here, wrist extension and finger extension. And we've got to train all of those positions to ensure that we're working the muscles through, through their full range, because if you don't use it, you lose it. Here's the techniques, very simple. We're gonna train full mobility, so circles, or also known as cars or controlled articular rotations if you follow Dr. Andreo Spina and his FRC method. But we're going through all of the motions of the wrist. There's extension, there's flexion, and then there's radial deviation and ulnar deviation. And we're just gonna circle through them all. But the way that we're gonna do that is in two positions. So the first technique, the first exercise is fist, and keep a strong fist the whole time. Do not lose that strength. So I'm at about maybe a 40 to 50% strength on my grip there. I'm not maximum and it's not just a loose little grip. It's about 50, 40 to 50%. I'm gonna hold that throughout. Then we're gonna go to radial deviation and then flexion, full flexion. And then I'm gonna try to maximize flexion as I go into ulnar deviation. And then I maximize ulnar deviation as I go into wrist extension and I'm going slow throughout that range, throughout that motion, so that I get activation of the muscles throughout. I'm not just jumping over any ranges that I have no control over. I'm finding those and I'm working it there to build that control, okay? So it's a wrist circle with the fist, holding the fist at 40 to 50% intensity. So we go in one direction. You could do two to three circles in one direction, do three. It's your wrists, you use them every day. It's worth it. This slow, okay? Breathing the whole time. I like to keep my elbow straight so that the movement is isolated at the wrist. Just going slow through the range, maintaining that 40 to 50% grip throughout. Now you'll tend to lose the 40 to 50% grip when you're down in flexion and when you're up in max extension. Okay, so just be aware of that and hold it there. Obviously, you do it in both sides, and you do it in both directions. I think I mentioned that already. Okay, so that's exercise one, two to three circles in either direction with the fist. Exercise two is the same exact thing with, I call this an extended flare or a finger flare. Okay, extended flare, I talk about that in my, in my upper limb control course. That's wrist extension plus flared fingers, but this is just a flare. Okay, so I'm going to do this side. Flare the fingers, spread them out as wide as possible, and hold that the whole time. Same thing, ulnar deviation, flexion, radial deviation, extension. Here we're working the extensors in their fully shortened range as I do the circles, and then they're getting, I'm going down into the flexed range, which isn't working the flexors in their fully shortened range, and it's not fully stretching the extensors out, that's why we do it in the two positions, okay? So circles in one direction, slow at this pace throughout the whole range, 
bring it all the way down to flexion before you go into radial deviation, all the way into radial deviation before you go into wrist extension, maintaining the elbow locked out. So we isolate the movement at the wrists, and that way we're getting all of these muscles trained through their full ranges from fully shortened to fully lengthened. That's critical because again, use it or lose it. And we don't want to lose any mobility here because as we do that, well, it just degenerates. Things degenerate when we lose mobility. We're not getting full movement of that joint. The joint isn't getting full blood flow and recovering. Those tissues aren't getting the blood that they need to recover. And when tissues don't get blood flow that they need, then bad things happen, okay? So, very simple. Flexed, or fist, flare, do circles in either direction, three circles in either direction in both positions, and you're taking good care of your hands, your fingers, and your wrists, okay? So, this is also in helping with muscle balance because we often do things gripping on, so we're in this flexed fist position and we're rarely training extension and flare of the fingers. So if you don't want to end up like this, your posture like this, then this is what you need to do as well to balance that out. Not just stretch, but strengthen. Okay, we build that strength and that'll help to restore muscle balance to these guys. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any issues with your wrists, your elbows, your fingers, your hands, I urge you to check out my upper limb control course because that's a three-phase progressive approach taking you from techniques like this one, which would be in phase one, going down to phase three where you're integrating all of the range and strength and activation you've gained in the earlier phases into movements and exercises that transfer to the gym and to sport and everyday life. So check that out. Otherwise, make sure you're subscribed and I will see you next time. All right, peace.